if you do not hear your name or your username literally come out of my mouth, the chances are you are being scammed. Welcome back to the channel guys and I'm super excited because today it's my first ever giveaway. So I recently fitted the eight gang switch panel from Orgs Beam into the 2019 Mercedes Sprinter and guess what? They saw it and they liked it and they said to me, hey, you've got two vans, do you want another panel? We're gonna send you the updated version of the eight gang switch panel. Would you like to fit it in your black van and show your lovely viewers? I said yes, because if it's anything like the first model that I've used, it's an absolute cracker. Then I hit 4K subscribers. I'm not quite ready to do any work on the black van, so I thought to myself, do you know what, let's do a giveaway. Now the reason why this is a perfect item to give away is A, it's absolutely awesome, and B, it will fit any build. So if you're building a trailer, if you're building a truck, if you've got a camper, if you've got a motorhome, if you just wanna make upgrades, I'm gonna show you how to install it, a quick brief on what it's all about, and then all the details to the giveaway are below. Once again, please do not fall foul to the scammers out there that will pretend that you've won this giveaway. If you skip the first couple of seconds, then I can't do anything to help you more than I'm doing now. I, myself, out of my mouth, will tell you if you've won, either here or on the other social media platform, please, please do not click on any links that say that you have won this product. Now then, let's take a little look at the product itself. It is an Orgs Beam RA80 XL series. It is a little bit larger than the one that I've previously fitted in this van that I'm sat in right now. It's actually really, really nice. This is genuinely a product that I was gonna fit in the black van and I'm giving it away to some very, very lucky subscriber. There's a clue. I'm giving it away to a lucky subscriber. Now then, you get in the box pretty much two major items. One of them is the fuse board itself. That looks a little something like that. I will take you for a closer look shortly. Listen up, installation. If anywhere in your van you have already, let's say, got something like this, a 12 volt fuse panel, no matter who make it, you can make this Orgs Beam panel work in your van. It is exactly the same as your standard fuse holder. All we do, as far as installation is concerned, in a roundabout way, is put a positive to there, a negative to there, and then take all of your feeds off of each one of these fuse solid state relays. Absolutely easy. They're already um, fused up, so we've got two at 30, two at 20, two at 10, two at five. I've wired one into this van. That is the perfect ratio. Not many people have got three items in a van that run over 30 amps. This is a 60 amp max output. It's absolutely awesome. Treat this just like your 12 volt fuse board. And then all that will happen from there is you get a data cable, which will click in one end. You'll trace that cable to where you want it. And then you'll fit this panel here. At the moment, they're plain. You get these lovely little sticker sets so that you can choose, you know, between lights, flood, um, horn, whatever you choose to use this for. Now I'm actually using mine to run the whole van. I've got my TV on a separate circuit, I've got my um, sockets on a separate circuit, I've actually got one spare on mine which is big enough to run the diesel heater. I have explained this before but I would like to keep my diesel heater separate because you're not supposed to turn them off just willy-nilly because they don't like it. So we run our data cable to this and then you have full control of every single outlet on your fuse board. Now it's absolutely awesome. So I use this the most, for example, when I'm turning my fridge off, I keep one of my vans in storage um, when the weather isn't like it is at the moment. And I consider the fact that a constant um, draw for the fridge might drain the battery. I press one button and it would turn the fridge off. Absolutely awesome. Um, previous, I've had to rummage around in the boot, get to the fuse and turn it off because there's no actual way of turning my fridge off. Um, I find that quite upsetting. If you leave the door open, the light stays on also, which is quite annoying. So there it is. This can obviously be retrofitted. You would literally, where the positive and negative goes to that, you would take over with the Orgs Beam um, fuse board, or 
you can use this when you're building a van from the ground up. That's what I did on, in this van that I'm literally sat in now. I'll take you for a closer look, let's go. Now, I wouldn't ever actually use my panel from this angle sat here between the galley and the seat, but I wanted to show you guys. So here is the panel in my van, and basically I've got two light circuits, which is the, the main light and the under cupboard lights. You may see um, a refocus or maybe a relight. So internal lights, underglow, listen out for the max fan. Absolutely awesome. Stereo, which I'm calling the TV. Orgs, which is all of the um, power outlets. Literally, you can configure this however you want. Now, I believe these units started life as um, controlling all of your different spotlights on the front of like the 4 by 4 So you might have spots, um, bonnet lights. You could then have your, your main LED light bar, that kind of thing. So you could quick access shoot any of those lights on um, without turning them all on at the same time. I love the fact that Augsbeam have realized that people are using them in a different fashion and they give you all these different stickers. So I've got stereo, you know, you can have fan. They know that this is versatile enough to be used all over the place. So you can do whatever you want with this. And like I say, I've got a real random one that is a blank, in fact, called the fish box. That goes to nowhere. If the new owner of the van says, no, do you know what? I want my diesel heater running off this as well. And I'll just trust myself not to press the button by accident halfway through a cycle then it can be you know that is another 30 amp outlet this unit is absolutely awesome seamless what it does is take away switches all over the van that are confusing even in my black van i designed it really poorly i wish i had a main switch panel like this and it's quite ironic that i'm giving it away so here it is absolutely awesome all controlled via a bluetooth app so from bed for example you can turn tv off or lights that you can't reach or even from your house or wherever you want to and then there's a main switch there that turns everything off hello hello there we are gotcha welcome to the tabletop here guys quick brief on how to install this now if you can install this or if you have one of these you can install this very very simple this is a standard 12 volt um, fuse board like a, um, a fuse holder it's exactly the same as this, but a little bit different if you catch my drift. So the solid state relays in there, you don't need to know any of that. All you need to know is, like here, you've got your positive and your negative. You've got your positive and your negative. Go through a fused switch, if you can, like a, a switch spur. This is supplied, but you can use anything you like just to make sure that this is fused. The whole unit itself then that's it and then you go off to here to all of your different um, electrical items absolutely easy peasy now this is actually designed if you wanted it to to come on for example when your engine is running so this is what we call an ignition wire that will click into there and then you take that to wherever your item is getting its electrical feed now what I do because I'm using it in a camper van and I want this to always be on as long as there's power is I put that straight onto there so as long as my um, leisure battery as long as my lithium battery has power this will be live and ready to use and then your data cable simply clicks in there clicks into the other side of this and you're done the install is exactly the same as that plus that silly little wire and one data cable absolutely awesome now this panel here is a little bit larger than mine I like it I like it a lot it comes with all kinds of different um, ways to mount it so you can surface mount it you can um, mount it on a cradle absolutely cracking honestly really really good bit of kit so this is how discreet the install really is um, now this is the older panel and uh, this is the fully installed one in my van so we take this off here to reveal the wire and setup so like I said before, by having this loop in here, as long as my power bank is on, this switch panel remains constantly live via the fuse. And then here, positive and negative, going off to all of the individual items. Just like in the new version, you get spare fuses and a fuse picker in the back of the case. I opted to actually use the slot there um, and make my wires disappear across the back so that all we can see is the panel itself like that and I think that looks truly 
professional. Now then, I've just talked that installation down as being really, really simple, and it is. But at the same time, it is a clever bit of kit. Um, they've been researching and developing these for absolutely yonks. I've seen some of the earlier versions. This is the latest version of the 8-gang switch panel. If you like this video and you like the product and you do not win it, please head to the link below and take a look at it. Take a look at an original version. Now, what I'm trying to get at is, at the moment, there are a lot of rip-offs about. They look the same. They even got the same color branding. They are not the same. If you're looking at one of these Augsbeam switch panels and you find one that's half the price, run a mile. Can you really trust putting all of them electrical items through something that has not been tried and tested? You don't want to be using a rip-off item. This is a quality item that's been going for a long, long time. Just be careful what you're buying. So you've just seen the review of the eight gang switch panel from Augsbeam and you absolutely love it. I do too. And you want to know how to enter the giveaway. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button and drop me a comment. Maybe tell me where you plan to use this Augsbeam switch panel, what project that you've got going on or where you want to use it. Or maybe just let me know that you like free stuff. Your comment and subscription to the channel is your entry. I will never contact you via email or via any kind of messenger. You will need to hear your YouTube handle or your email address or your actual name, whatever you go by in the comments, you will need to hear that come out of my mouth. That's how you know you're a winner. I will never ask for post and packaging money. I will never ask you to click a link. Please do not fall foul to all the people out there that are taking advantage. There is a second way to enter the giveaway, which gets you a second vote, and that is to head over to my other social media platform, head over there and get yourself a second chance to win the Augsbeam switch panel. Now, this panel was actually originally gifted to me by Augsbeam um, to do a review. I thought I would back up that review with a giveaway, try and get my numbers up. And I also hope for all of you that fall in love with the panel, and the ones that do not win, unfortunately, you might even click the link below and I may even make enough cookies to buy my own. Thank you once again for joining me and good luck.